Hi everyone, we're going to find the asymptote points between 0 and 90 degrees, and I'd rather call this, so oh, sorry, let me move this back. So I'd rather call this uh, between 0 and pi over 2, um, instead of 0 to 90 degrees. The first thing I'm going to notice is that cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine of theta. And I can't divide by 0 because that gives me undefined. And that's what generates the asymptote. So what I'm going to do first is draw sine. Go to 1 to negative 1. 0 to 2 pi. Maybe I should move this over a little. Put 2 pi here. Pi pi over 2. I'm just doing a sketch here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You really don't have to graph these. I'm just graphing it to illustrate um, all you need to do when um, you have something like this on a test. I'm graphing the sine function because this is what generates the asymptote lines here. So my asymptote lines for cosecant occur right in here. All right, at x equals 0, x equal pi, and x equal 2 pi. And I'll go ahead and draw cosecant here. It's uh, something like this between 0 and 2 pi. All right, but we don't really need that because what we're trying to find is um, different periods here. So I want to find um, the asymptote lines for cosecant of 3 theta. We know that the cosecant of 3 theta is merely 1 over sine of 3 theta. So all I have to do is take my asymptote lines here and divide by 3. So I'm going to get x equals 0 over 3, x equals pi over 3, and x equals 2 pi over 3. Now if we're trying to find between 0 and pi over 2, this one's to too large. So I only have two answers here. So my answers are going to be x equals 0, x equals 0, and x equals pi over 3. Okay, let's do two more. Let's try, we did 3, so let's try cosecant of 4 theta and cosecant of 2 theta. My first step is just to write the, the asymptotes for my parent function. And I'm going to write it over here as well. And now I'm just going to use my um, 4 here and divide everything by 4. Divide by 4, we still get 0. This is going to turn into pi over 4. And this is going to turn into pi over 2. This is going to be 2 pi over 4. All right, all of those fit in between 0 and pi over 2 for 0 and 90 degrees. So those are all my answers. x equals 0, x equals pi over 4, and x equals pi over 2. Now for this one, um, remember this is your, your period change, so that would be 2 pi over 2. So your period's pi, so you're merely dividing everything by 2. So if I divide everything by 2, I get 0 here, this is going to be pi over 2, and this one's going to be uh, pi. Now what happens here is that these two work, but not this one, because pi is too big. So my asymptote lines are going to be x equals 0 and x equals pi over 2. And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.